My name is Wang Ding. I'm one of the designers of the Illumina's recently released mouse methylation B chip. I'm currently based at the Center for Computational and Genomic Medicine at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. As you know, that this is the first uh, DNA methylation array for the monoorganisms. In this video, I'm going to introduce you 10 things as a mouse scientist in epigenetic research you may want to know to use this array to its full potential or simply to help you to decide whether this array is right for you and your research. So what does this mouse array do and how does it work? Infinian DNA methylation V-chip is an array technology that lets you measure DNA methylation of around 285,000 CPGs in the mouse genome. It offers a powerful tools for researchers who is interested in the epigenetic study of the mouse models. The technology is relies on bisulfide conversion to distinguish a methylated and a methylated cytosine species. And compared to other methods such as high throughput bisulfide conversion, the Infinite Array technology stroke a balance of uh, being affordable in cost and being highly quantitative and simple for data analysis. So unlike bisulfide sequencing, Infinian technology accurately and precisely measure the quantitatively DNA methylation level independence from read depths. How are probed CPGs distributed in the mouse genome? So the mouse DNA methylation B chip is designed to comprehensively interrogate over 285,000 CPGs, covering many genetic and epigenetic features of the whole mouse genome. So this includes gene promoters, enhancers, gene bodies, CPG islands, transposable elements, and heterochromatin. It also includes epigenetic features such as genomic imprinting regions and metastable epilios, which is previously characterized to be biologically important to organismal and cellular developments as well as disease. So what are the applications can the mouse array be used for? And because the array is a tool to assay DNA methylation in mouse, it can be used to study a wide variety of uh, biology where DNA methylation plays a role. For example, it can be used to conduct epigenome-wide association studies in inbred mouse models to identify epigenetic alterations linked to environmental exposure while um, controlling the genetic background. So it can also be applied to collaborative cross or diversity outbreak cohorts to identify genetic variants that leads to epigenetic changes, or so-called MEQTLs. It can also be uh, used to study the tissue heterogeneity and conduct patient-derived uh, xenograph studies to understand how molecular changes in stroma or other connective tissues and aid in tumor genesis and metastasis. Another application of this array is about developmental biology, where one can use this array to see how DNA methylation is dynamically deposited in the race during the course of development. Most notably, the array can be used to analyze transgenic mouse models of disease and then to understand how genes are regulated proceeding or in response to disease. For preclinical validation studies, researchers can also use this array to test whether candidate drug can revert a disease perturbed DNA methylome to that of a healthy research subject. So what mouse strain can the array be used on? Although the mouse methylation B-chip is built using the MM10 genome assembly, it is designed to work with multiple inbred mouse strains. Genetic variations in mouse strains can influence probe hybridization and extension and can cause artifactual DNA methylation readouts. Probe designs with genetic variation present at either the probe sequence or the extension base were avoided during the design. To control the influence of strain-specific polymorphism, whole genome sequence of 15 common mouse strains were used. This means that the mouse array methylation readout should be robust and reflective of cytosine methylation level when used on these 15 strains and their close relatives. In addition, there are over 1,400 strain-specific SNF probes that exist on the mouse array for string typing against over 30 mouse strains. These SNF probes can help us analyze the genetic backgrounds of the mouse and identify sample swaths and contaminations. The cross-strain design of the mouse array provides great flexibility for researchers who prefer specific mirroring strain for different research topics.
what are the available softwares for data analysis. So one of the strengths of the DNA methylation array is its simplified bioinformatic uh, uh, analysis compared to biosulfide sequencing. So what are the softwares that can help you analyze data? Let's take a look. Let me introduce you to Sesame, the sensible stepwise analysis of DNA methylation B-chip. This is a comprehensive software suite that we have designed to fully support the functionality of the mouse array B-chip. So it, uh, this software is designed to support data inputs and process the raw IDAT files to its finalized uh, beta values. So it performs data pre-processing, which includes uh, signal background subtraction, diabetes correction, and then p-value detection calibration. And then also performs a wide suite of quality controls, including using SNPs and looking at probe success rates and contrasting the DNA methylation beta values with a reference DNA methylome that comes from a variety of tissues and different mouse strains to identify potential sample swaps and sample quality problems. So it also provides uh, many options for data analysis, which includes the inference of the strain, sex, and then tissue type, and also built-in analysis modules that supports the inference of the epigenetic age, and to let you perform differential DNA methylation modeling and the analysis of the DNA copy number as well as some of the exploratory data visualization. You can obtain this software from the Bioconductor. So this software is officially published as a, a Bioconductor package. Aside from the informatics, there's also a community-supported annotation hub that will provide you comprehensive annotation of the mouse array. This includes the probe mapping to multiple genome assemblies of both mouse and other species. It offers annotations of uh, gene association with respect to the gene promoters, gene body, uh, CPG islands, based on the GenCode mouse transcript models. One can also find epigenome annotations of probes, including how they overlap with the chrome HMM segmentation and other annotations offered by mouse encode. So how much DNA is the mouse array needing? Traditionally, uh, as you might know, the Infineon methylation array technology takes over 250 nanogram of DNA as input. So we processed uh, 50 to 1,000 nanogram of DNA through the Infineon workflow prior to analyzing samples using sesame and detecting the process S rate. So we processed 50 to 100 nanogram of DNA through the Infineon workflow prior to analyzing samples using sesame and detecting the probe success rates. As expected, the success rates of probes increase as the amount of input DNA increases. 250 nanogram of DNA yields over 94% of probes being detected by sesame, but even 50 nanogram of sample DNA provides useful data for 85% of the probes. But it should be noted that the lower the DNA input, the more the beta value may converge in synthetically to 0.5, which reflects a greater influence of the signal backgrounds. We conclude the array can provide high quality data with even 50 nanogram input DNA. But for best results, Illumina recommends inputs of 250 nanogram of mouse DNA. So how does this uh, mouse array differ from the EPIC and then human HM450K arrays? So the design of the mouse array improves on many aspects of the previous generations of the human array. So first of all, you may notice that the update of the mouse ID system with a four-letter suffix added to the CG numbers used in the human array. The four-letter suffix is meant to provide additional information to distinguish designs for the same 120 tumor templates. In the mouse array, we have implemented a title control for cross-hybridization and support for multi-mapping probes, such as probe targeting, transposable element consensus sequence, the major crystal compatibility loci, and so on. One CPG may be interrogated using probe designed on both converted and synthesized strands, and multiple technical replicates may exist to achieve more robust and reproducible measurements. We also improved and expanded the set of control probes and then strain-specific SNPs to control the quality of the experiment and protect against uh, human oversights. Is the array accurate and reproducible? 
So to demonstrate the accuracy of the array, we compare the array with the whole genome bisulfide sequencing data generated on B16 melanoma cell lines. The measurements obtained from the mouse array shows high accuracy compared to WGBS with a Spearman correlation coefficient at 0.92. We also checked the accuracy of the mouse array's measurements using samples mixed from fully methylated DNA and fully unmethylated DNA titrated at known percentages. Uh, we carry out this test both at the Illumina and Banano Research Institutes to check whether similar data could be obtained at two separate processing sites. And then here we see that the, the rate showed progressively increasing beta values from DNA with increasing methylation fraction. Uh, we also see that two different testing sites produce uh, replicable data, and we conclude that the array is a suitable tool for quantitative study for DNA methylation and that similar results are expected when running samples at different processing sites. Can the array be used for other species? So the use of the mouse uh, methylation array is actually not restricted to the mouse genome. And in fact, 19% of the mouse array probes can be used to study rats, and 11% can be used to study hamster, and 58 can be used to study human methylome. So here's an example of applying the mouse array to rat DNA titrated to a ladder of different DNA methylation level. As you can tell, it recapitulates increasing methylation levels of the titrated rat DNA. And applying the mouse array to the human mouse mixture samples with different percentages of the mouse tissue, one can see that the putative mouse array probes that work on both human and mouse genome tend to retain a high probe success rate regardless of how much mouse tissue is present. And in contrast, the mouse array probes that works on mouse tissues only decreases in probe success rates as the percentages of the mouse tissue diminishes. One can perform the same analysis of the human epic array and identify probes that works in the mouse genome. Running the epic arrays on the same group of samples reveals an opposite trend with the epic probe that works on the human genome only decreasing in probe success rates as the percentages of the mouse tissues increases. This combination of the mouse and the EPIC array constitutes a perfect assay pair to investigate patient-derived xenograph models that contains both human DNA from transplanted human organs or tumor tissues and mouse DNA from the mouse stroma, infiltrated leukocytes, and connected tissues, and so on. So when pure human DNA is applied to the array, about 12% of the array probes shows a significant signal over background. For PDX models, uh, over 50% of the mouse DNA uh, should be used to successfully get the mouse DNA probes to pass detection over background. Using these standard curves, one can estimate the percentage of the mouse tissue based on the success rates difference between the two probe groups. So lastly, how much does it cost to, to run the mouse DNA methylation array? So the mouse DNA methylation B chip is available in 24, 48, and 96 sample kits, and the relevant catalog number are shown in this uh, table below. Currently, the array is priced at $195 per sample and sold at a batch of minimum 24 samples. Currently, Illumina is offering discounts uh, if one purchase large volume or order mouse array with uh, the human epic array to promote patient-derived xenograph research. Well, thanks for watching this video. And in the next videos, so we're going to discuss the informatics that we can use to analyze data obtained from the mouse methylation feature.